Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 1. Now, it has been a minute since I sat down and watched Stranger Things. I did not expect it to be this long between seasons. But I am back and I'm ready to get into it. Season 1 was a really good season and you guys tell me that this is one of those shows that just keep getting better and better. So I've kind of got some high expectations. So let's get into it, shall we? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Go, 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 go! Move it! What is going on on this Halloween night? But, who are you? I wouldn't breathe a sigh of relief just yet. My officer, Hop, he is efficient as shit. Do something, Polly. Do something. Next right. There's a tunnel. Take it. How do you know this? Are you familiar with the area? Or is you an alien girl? There's something up with this girl. Boom. Careful, don't you hurt my hot cop. Boom, I need to write this woman's name down. I need a pen. I got one, I got one. Oh, but it's even Ow! Officer Hopper. Adam, is you okay? Pardon? No wonder why the other officer was like, Adam, why did you stop, you crazy bitch? Here are you. Number eight. Oh, okay. We got another number in the show. Chapter one, Mad Max. What are you doing on this channel? Nothing. Well, Lucas and I have six bucks total. What's your haul? Shit, shit I, I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? Come on. Call Will. Oh, it looks like all the gang's back together. That's good to know. What the hell are you doing? Uh, he is robbing you. What does it look like? Why are they all collecting money? Where is they going? Okay, so I'm gonna pick you up in two hours. That's nine o'clock on the dot, okay? Okay, okay. I would not let this little child out of my sight after the saga of last season. No, 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 I hate this overpriced bullshit, son of a bitch. He's a uh, dick. You're just not nimble enough. We need to find out what's happening with Will, because when we left him last time, he was having some residue side effects from the kidnapping. Okay, no, 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 Oh, we still have these little residue moments. Bless ya. Trauma. Don't do that to you. The question is, is it all in his head though? Is it all just trauma? Or is something a fit? Oh my god. It was like I was in the underworld for a pretty long time and I'm starting to miss it a little bit. Are you okay? No, he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you should all sit down over a cup of tea and discuss what the fuck is going on. 
<laughs> I now believe there was and may very well still be a Russian spy presence in Hawkins. Russian spies. I'm sorry, Mary. Are the Russian spies in cahoots with the aliens? Or how do they fit in here? Because probably. I'm talking multiple reports. Then last month, a co-worker of Ted Wheeler's claims some Russian girl with a shaved head was hiding in his basement. Ted now denies this. Oh, wow. That's a surprise. But it connects. Enlighten me. Yeah, why are you so disinterested, Hop? Wait, wait, wait. you're telling me that Barbara Holland was kidnapped by Russian spies. Kidnapped? Maybe. Killed. killed. Don't you get it, Jim? No. This has potentially international implications. Why is Jim acting brand new like the last season didn't just happen? I hate to do this, but I gotta run. It's an emergency. You gave me five minutes. Yeah, listen, you know what? I liked your alien theory a lot better. And you want my advice? Why don't you stop bleeding those people dry and go home? Right? Look, I am not bleeding anyone. Me. Try. Go home. No, it's a whole new season, it's a whole new mystery. Hop, jump on board. Oh, hop on board. Hey, I'm here all season. When's the deadline? It's tomorrow for early application. Can you I mean, come and help me tonight? No, we have our dinner tonight, remember? Oh, oh my God. We already canceled last week. Ugh. I love you. I love you too. Oh, so Nancy and Steve are still going strong. And we like Steve now because he really redeemed himself the last episode. <laughs>Surely that man is not a new student to the school because he looked old enough to have a briefcase, a job, and a six-year-old kid. Ah, this must be our new student. Indeed it is. All yours. All right, hold up there. You don't get away that easy. Come on up. We need your name, girl. Dustin, drum roll. Class, please welcome, all the way from sunny California, the latest passenger to join us on our curiosity voyage, Maxine. <gasps> it's Max. Mad Max. Nobody calls me Oh, we have an enemy, but like, girl, you stole my high school, so now I'm going to have to pull your hair. Hey there. Hey. Do you happen to have these in any other colors? I'm not a big fan of orange. Hmm. I'll have to check them back. Um, okay. Some more development I might have missed out on. I didn't know who you was until this scene. I'll see you tonight for movie night. Jonathan's night to pick. Oh, they seem pretty well acquainted. How long has passed since season one and season two, may I ask, guys? And the biggest elephant in the room of them all, even more bigger than the elephant of Will when he's trauma, is where is Eleven? Listen, Chief, I don't go throwing around accusations lightly, you know me. But this happening the day before Halloween when sales are peaking? That's a hell of a coincidence. What in the world is happening to these pumpkins? You got somebody working in that field? Oh, it's gonna be an alien! Oh, please just be a cat. I'm not ready for the stress yet. At least give me a few episodes to build up so my stress levels can adjust accordingly. Oh my god, it's a scarecrow! <laughs> There's a scarecrow that isn't doing his job, it ain't scaring the crows. There's no way that's Mad Max. Yeah, girls don't play video games. And even if they did, you can't get 750,000 points on Dig Dug. I mean, that's impossible. But her name is Max. So what? So? How many Maxes do you know? Can we not just go ask her? Oh, boys, you could just go speak to her. Stop spying on me, creeps. Oh, she's an observant one. She might be an alien too. Can we help you? Why is everyone looking at us? I think he's okay. He's always weird when he has to go in. I don't know. He's quiet today. Go in. He's always quiet. Where? Better? Then when? Well, <laughs> uh, 
this and you know there there's nothing to be nervous about you know just tell me what you felt last night what you saw hey i'm gonna be there the oh okay so he's actually being quite open and honest about his weird hallucinations good you should never have to suffer alone What building is that? Oh, it's good that he's actually getting regular checkups after the fiasco he went through because I would have not been impressed if they literally just left him to his own devices. Um. All right, so tell me what's going on with you. Tell me about this episode you had. Well, my friends were there, and then, and then they just weren't, and I was back there again. In the upside down. What's going on? There was a storm. There's a storm uh, coming. So how did you feel when you saw the storm? I felt, I felt this evil, like like it was looking at me. Oh. It was evil. Well, <clears throat> what do you think the evil wanted? To be evil and do evil things. To kill you? Not me. Everyone else. Everyone but you? How do you end up with special privileges and get let off the hit list? It's called the anniversary effect. And we've seen this with soldiers. The anniversary of an event brings back traumatic memories, sort of opens up the neurological floodgates. So okay, so I'm assuming it's been a year. Maybe some personality changes. You might get irritable, might lash out. Well, that's what every teenager does. If we're gonna get through this, I just, I need you to realize <laughs> I'm on your side. I'll spit my ye. You trust me. I'm thinking. Oh, I need you to trust me. Makes me not trust you, doctor. Oh, why is that doctor outside waving at us from a distance? That is sinister as she is. They're ready for you, sir. Who's ready for what, sir? Eddie? Sam. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, looks like another hot one today, huh? Never gets old, sir. Shit like this don't happen in a normal hospital. Are we still trying to investigate the upside down world? 10 o'clock. What? 10 o'clock. Oh. They're arguing, they're arguing. God, I see that. I don't even know why you need those. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, okay. Max, she is mad. <gasps> That's proof she's mad, Max. She's incredible. She is Mad Max. Yeah, so go talk to her and hang out with her. You've obviously got stuff in common. I'm so sorry I didn't get to cook. I was going to make that baked ziti you guys like so much, but I just forgot about the time, and then before you know it, oh my God, it's 5 o'clock. Oh, they have dinner at Bob's. We hired a man named Murray Bauman. Have either of you heard of him? No, should we all? Uh, no. Is he a no. real estate agent, by the he way? He was an investigative journalist for the Chicago Sun-Times. He agreed to take the case. Oh, that's... That's great. You take the case? That's really... That's great, right? What are we investigating? Um, we have a real detective on the case. It means... We're going to find our Barb. Oh! I wouldn't get my hopes up if I was you, babes! He already has leads. My God, he's worth every last penny. For the first time in a long time, we're hopeful. Oh, that's actually quite sad. And they're willing to go into debt and sell their house over this shit? I take it they didn't buy the whole, an alien told me that your daughter had been kidnapped by the underworld and she got killed by a monster kind of story. Oh, are you there? Hell? 
Are we still trying to communicate with her? It's day 352. 7.40 p.m. I'm, I'm still here. Oh, I don't think she's gonna answer. Oh my day, she did answer. Apologies. Hello, hello, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dustin. What are you doing on this panel again? I've been trying to reach you all day. We were right. Max is Mad Max. Yeah, I'm busy. But that wasn't Dustin in the beginning. Muse? Listen, if a light bulb comes on, you need to run because you're going to get kidnapped. <laughs> what was that? Oh, come on, hey, art skills. Zombie boy. Who's zombie boy? Me. Did someone call you that? Not that I heard. Will, come on, talk to me. Stop treating me like that. Well, like what? Like everyone else does. Like there's something wrong with me. Beeps, get the memo, there is. You're not a freak. Yeah, I am. I am. No, you're just a normal kid who's had freaky stuff happen you know to him. You're right. You are a freak. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Do you want to be normal? Do you do you want to be just like everyone else? Nah, mate, that's overrated. So many people out there are doing that already. Find your own lane and cruise control like me. Then why are you always hanging out with me? Because you're my best friend, all right? And I would rather be best friends with Zombie Boy than with a boring nobody. Yes, come on, you know brother. I, mean? I like the bond that these two brothers have. It's nice to actually see it in real time rather than through flashbacks, because obviously, um. They were separated most of last season. It's okay, let it go. Probably just a crank call. Let it go. <laughs> Why is she so shook that her phone is ringing? But not shook enough to do anything about it. I've literally just finished watching an episode of The Walking Dead. And one of the main characters in that was doing this exact same thing as well. It's a national hit a board against the wall day. Ooh! Oh, I hear the storm again. If you don't go out there and you don't look at it, it, does, it means it's not happening, right? Just close your eyes, fall on the floor and go to sleep. And I'm assuming no one else is seeing this but him. Just like earlier when this number eight alien made the bridge fall, but only one person saw it happening and it weren't really happening. Oh, I saw a dragon monster thing. I was just about to say, I would feel such at peace because I love me a thunderstorm, but not if there's some demon dragon monster thing involved in a whole thunderstorm. Talk about. Oh, you have company? It's 815. You're late. What kind of company is that? That sounds like a child. Uh, and it's, uh, it's 815. It's not 815. 815. Now, what do we talk about? No wonder why Hop's not been concerned about her this whole episode. Oh my god, okay, I feel good with this. So why is she being an ignorant bitch and she's not answering the boys on a walkie-talkie then? You got some explaining to do? Well, actually, loads of explaining to do, because um, why are you two hanging out together? Alright guys, that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. And in doing so, we have kicked off the brand new season of Stranger Things. Well, it ain't a brand new season, but for me it is. And I don't know why I left it so long between season one and two, apart from obviously 
my life got busy and stuff got in the way because this show is so good. I forget just how good it is until I sit down to watch it. So a year has passed since the events of the last episode and poor Will, he is still going through it. He is getting some hallucinations of the upside down land and he is getting hallucinations of a storm and a monster within this storm. But he's not keeping it quiet like I thought he was initially going to. Instead, he is telling professional people who are running checks on him. But I think there's something a bit dark-sided about these professional people because there is some other undercover operation going on in the background there. Nancy and Steve are still going strong, probably much to the dismay of Jonathan. But they also like to meet up with Barb's family for dinner once in a while. But this time when they went, they found out that Barb's family, they are going to sell their house. Because they need to pay off a private investigator who is on the hunt for their daughter. And we know her daughter is nowhere to be found. And she ain't going to be found in no good state when she does be found. If she be found. A couple of new characters were introduced in the middle of this episode. Including a random man that all the high school girls really fancy and he drives chaotically and he's got either a little sister, a niece, a daughter, some kind of girl called Max who's really good at video games and she's got a bit of an attitude on her and she can tell when boys are spying on her. And I'm assuming she's going to play quite an important integral role leading forward. Another one who's going to play an integral important role leading forward is... This girl that we saw right in the beginning, we saw some people like rob a bank or something. And they were driving away and this girl who's got the number 8 tattooed on her, she had some weird superpowers just like every other alien on this show. So we got a little glimpse into her and her little cronies in the beginning. So I'm assuming she gonna pop up again. And I think that is it for this episode. They're definitely setting up something with this storm and this number eight. And these professional people trying to help Will. It's all a bit odd. It's all a bit bizarre. It's all a bit strange. Which is what makes this show so goddamn addictive. So I'm going to continue powering through and I shall see you in episode two. If you want to be with me into episode two and all of season two and you haven't done so already... Feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Down in the comment section, let's talk all things beginning of season two. But remember, keep it spoiler free so I can be shocked organically. And over on my Patreon, you can watch this episode in its entirety, unedited, uncensored and uncut. All with the 80s themed music still involved. Over on my Patreon, link for that is in the description below. And until next time, guys, there's a storm coming. So stay safe out there.